Yikes. This app has been coined Tinder for teens and its main goal is to exchange Snapchats. This has red flags written all over it. Hey, welcome to Online for Love, your number one resource for dating by the numbers. Today we're going to be reviewing the controversial dating app Hoop, whose main purpose is to connect Snapchat users together. You might be really glad that you're watching this review before deciding to sign up because you might not have known that they allow users as young as 12 to join the app. So, uh, pretty creepy. So we're gonna dive into this today. So before I dive into this review of Hoop, you should definitely check out our free online dating app quiz. This quiz from Online for Love, you can access by clicking above me in the description below. It's free, it's quick, it's easy, it's fun, and it'll pair you with your perfect online dating app. So you should go take that quiz and comment below what your perfect app is because I, I bet it's not hoop. <laughs> also, make sure to check out our deals page by again clicking above me or in the description. Online for Love always has lots of awesome deals with tons of different dating sites. Before signing up for anything, you should always check out our deals page because why spend more money if you don't have to? But back to hoop. So I have divided this review into five key sections full of information that you have to know before deciding to sign up for this app. So we're going to be talking about the user demographics of Hoop, the ease of use, their prices, their key features, and their success rate. So now let's get started with the user demographics of Hoop. So as I already have stated, Hoop is designed to connect Snapchats. Now if you don't know, Snapchat is a really popular app that has come about in the last few years where you can send somebody a snap and it'll be deleted almost instantly after they watch it. So the use of Snapchat is different for many different groups of people. I would say a lot of the time people do use it as just another social media app to stay connected to their friends, to send funny pictures that will then be deleted. And actually Instagram has been influenced by Snapchat and now they have implemented a Snapchat like feature called stories. Because of that I think over the last few years more and more people have been migrating off of Snapchat when it once was super popular um, especially helped by Kylie Jenner who is a giant on the app. Even though Snapchat isn't as popular as it once was it still has over 238 million users so it's nothing to snuff at. So on the one hand people are using Snapchat as just a normal social media app and on the other hand a lot of sex workers use Snapchat as well. There's even a feature called Snap Premium where you will have to pay to see other people's snaps and this is where a lot of um, sex workers get their income from. So yeah, again, many people do use it for just social media and connecting with friends and other people use it for sexual stuff. Now Hoop was created in 2020 and since February it's been downloaded over 4 million times. It was even ranked the number two most downloaded app of the year. If you have a Snapchat account already, it's super simple to sign up because all you have to do is click and you are signed into your Hoop account. If you don't have a Snapchat, then you're just not going to be using this app. <laughs> Most of the users come from the US and then India, France, UK, and Saudi Arabia. So because the fact it's so simple and easy to sign up for Hoop if you already have a Snapchat account, it definitely helps to bring up its popularity just because of that fact. It's so easy. Something to keep in mind though is that 90% of Snapchat users are between the ages of 12 and 24. So obviously because of Snapchat's demographics being that young, also Hoop's demographics are that young. And it's also helped by the fact it's so simple and easy to create a Hoop account because there's no major questionnaires or a long thing of a list of things to fill out or any um, authentication or anything like that. You just have to have a Snapchat account and you can have a Hoop account. And as supposedly the purpose of Hoop is not really for dating it's or meeting up, it's for making friends. Actually, the co-creator of Hoop said that. He said that we are not a meeting or dating app, we simply offer an easy way to make new Snap friends. I think clearly he's trying to avoid the word dating because he knows that a large majority of his members on the app are underage. Obviously this just seems like a horrible formula and setup for a site. Basically it's an app built for teens to send out snaps to strangers looking for other teenagers. Obviously this screams red flags everywhere and I'm not wrong because it's been flagged and reported many times times for facilitating child pornography. Clearly this is a predatory in nature app. It makes it way too easy for adults to prey on younger people and catfish them and all sorts of horrible things. I mean, this is a breeding ground for illegal activity, 
like like the um, report said, even child pornography. So I would definitely recommend you to not use this site and steer clear of it. It's pretty sickening actually that there's an app made recently that's gained a lot of popularity that is so easily uh, taken this horrible turn. If you are a teenager, there are other ways to make friends that won't result in you getting exploited. I don't recommend this for anybody. We're gonna move on and talk about the ease of use of Hoop. So, it's too easy. <laughs> you can sign up using a Snapchat. You have to have a Snapchat and it's just a click away from signing up. There's no authentication when signing up, so anybody can claim to be a different age. The site actually claims that if you are above 18, you won't see any users who are under 18. But due to the fact that it's so easy for minors to lie about their age or vice versa, older people to lie about their age, it doesn't matter. In addition to this, you can choose to not show your age or location. So many people who are, will be talking to other people on the site won't even know their age or where they're from anyway. The second part of this ease of use section of this review is the photos. So you can upload a photo onto Hoop, but if you want to upload more, you'll have to pay for it, although not with actual currency. There's an in-app type of currency called diamonds. You earn diamonds by doing different things. And one of the things you can do that will earn you the most diamonds, this will earn you 500 is to share your hoop link on your snap story to encourage friends to sign up to it. Some other ways to earn diamonds are to watch ads which will give you 75 diamonds. You can take surveys that will bring different amounts of diamonds to you and you can look at different offers. These diamonds are also crucial in your swiping process because unlike an app like Tinder where you have 100 swipes per day, you can only swipe as much as your diamonds allow you to on hoop. Every swipe actually costs 10 diamonds which means you're going to need to keep sharing your hoop link. You'll need to keep watching ads and taking surveys in order to use the app. You can actually purchase diamonds as well, but we'll get into that later. After you've adjusted your profile and search preferences, then you can start actually looking for people. Once you see somebody interesting, you can invite them to share their Snapchat with you by clicking the Snapchat logo under their name. If you want to see people who want to connect with you, you can go to the top right of the screen where you'll see a list of people. Once you've used someone's invitation, you can choose either to accept or decline the offer to give them your Snapchat username. You do have the option of blocking people um, if they have inappropriate interactions with you or inappropriate photos or anything like that. If you do choose to accept their invitation, you'll be transferred immediately to Snapchat where you can begin chatting there if you'd like. After that as well, I mean, if you want to keep talking to them, if you want to keep them on your friends list or if you want to remove them, it's totally up to you. And again, this is a fantastic way for pedophiles to get into teenagers' Snapchat accounts. And I'm sure there are people who use this site with good intentions, but you cannot deny that there's a section of it who will definitely be using it for coercion, manipulation, and for pedo activity. We here at Online for Love like to keep things upfront and real with you. We want to tell you if something's off about a site. So if you want to make sure that we keep making content like this, calling out the bad seeds in the dating world, make sure to give this video a like so that YouTube will know that people are enjoying the content. They'll push it out for more people to see and hopefully we can get people to understand what this site is really about. So make sure to give it a like to help push this video out. And if you're interested in the online dating world and trying to figure out which app is best for you, please make sure to subscribe so that we can tell you the real information about all the different apps out there. Now let's go over the pricing of Hoop. So unlike many other dating apps out there, Hoop does not have a membership, rather they just use their in-app currency diamonds, which we've touched upon before. So of course, like I mentioned as well, you can earn diamonds by doing different things like sharing your Hoop account on your Snapchat. You can get more diamonds by watching ads, taking surveys, um, things like that. But you can also purchase your diamonds as well. I mean, diamonds are crucial to using this site. You need them to swipe on people, to add extra photos on your profile, to more decorations, for your profile, etc, etc. You need diamonds. So if you do choose to purchase these diamonds, the prices go as follows. A thousand diamonds will cost 99 cents. 6,000 cost 4.99. 13,000 cost 9.99. 27,000 cost 19.99. And 42,000 diamonds will cost 29.99. This actually brings up another aspect of hoop that I really dislike. The fact that diamonds are integral to the user experience and the fact that you need them to use or do anything on the site um, and the fact that a lot of the audience for Hoop is underage seems predatory in nature as well, um, at least monetarily, taking advantage of kids who maybe don't have the best money management skills yet. Um, you know, it's advertised as a free 
app and it's really not so it's just another form of manipulation that i see on this app if you're interested in other apps, by the way, you should definitely check out our deals page because we here at Online for Love always get awesome deals for all sorts of different dating apps. So if you go to our deals page, you can check out lots of cool and non-creepy dating apps where you can get a really good discount. Now let's talk about the key features of Hoop. So Hoop is very Tinder-like, if you've ever used or heard of Tinder, where basically you can swipe left or right on profiles based on pretty much looks. You can't actually talk to people on Hoop, it's just to connect people Snapchat. So I guess you would use Hoop in a way where you would see somebody you might be interested in, and then you can ask if they would like to, you know, have exchange Snapchats with you. Now on Hoop, this swiping method and meeting people, etc., is completely based off of looks because there's no bios for anybody. There's no descriptions. It's just photos and your age and location is optional as well. So you're really just going off of people's photos. So here are some of the features more in depth. There is a reverse button in case you wish to go back to the last profile you disliked by accident. There's the Snapchat logo button in case you want to ask the person to share their Snapchat username with you, which costs 10 diamonds. There's the X button in case you wish to move on and see other profiles cost zero diamonds. Then there's the diamond button and if you wish to see how many diamonds you have left for contacting people or if you want to earn more for further actions. You have the super request option which notifies and puts your snap request to the top of the receiver which costs 125 diamonds. Then there's the flash requests, which sends 100 snap requests to 100 random accounts that fit your age range and search preferences, which costs 2,000 diamonds. Again, if you're enjoying this information and getting informed about these dating sites, please give this video a like and subscribe so we can help more people out. Now let's talk about the success rate of Hoop. So this is different than most other apps when we talk about the success rates because of all the different things going on with this here. So of course, Hoop does not advertise itself as necessarily a dating app. It's just to connect Snap friends with other Snap friends. And I'm sure there are people who have found success this way. Maybe they have found friends out of this. I'm sure a lot of people have found romantic success as well. Maybe finding someone they find attractive and they um, exchange Snapchats. But of course, the fact that a lot of the people are underage here makes this unsuccessful. <laughs> I mean, all you have to do is look at the reviews for this site and the words child pornography come up often. Just once is too much, they come up all the time. There's some illegal, predatory crap happening on this website and I would steer clear, like I'm not mincing words here, don't use this app. This app could have great potential because Snapchat does have such a huge audience, but the fact that they involved underage people, 12 to 17 year olds, just makes this a huge no. And I don't know what they're thinking, honestly. This is, it's kind of mind blowing, like why anyone would think that this is okay. It's such an obvious setup for pedos. Many people have a lot of concerns for this app and I do as well. If I saw somebody my age using this, I'd be super sketched out. So in no way do we here at Online for Love recommend Hoop. The good thing is though, there are tons of other dating apps out there that are not creepy, that are not predatory, and you can check out. So what I recommend to you is to take our free Online for Love dating app quiz, which you can get by clicking the link above me or in the description. It's really free, quick, and easy quiz that'll pair you with your perfect online dating site. And while you're there, always check out our deals page in case you wanna sign up for any of the good online dating apps and you wanna get a discount. So the deals page is also in the description and linked above me as well. Definitely check out some of our other videos to hear some reviews of other dating apps that you definitely need to hear. So what do you think about this site? Feel free to go ahead and roast it in the comments below, have at it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. And hopefully we'll see you here again at Online for Love. Thanks, bye.